So then another case that is fueling the growing debate in this country over religious freedom. This one involves a Muslim flight attendant who was suspended for refusing to serve alcohol in accordance with her faith. She's a convert uh, a couple of years ago, I believe. She filed a discrimination complaint against the airline ExpressJet and says, quote, I don't think that I should have to choose between practicing my religion properly or earning a living. I shouldn't have to choose between one or the other because they are both important. David Webb is the host of The David Webb Show on Sirius XM Patriot, a columnist for The Hill and a Fox News contributor. And Marjorie Clifton is former consultant for the Obama campaign and principal at Clifton Consultant. Welcome uh, to you both. Good morning Good to you. Good morning, Martha. Um, so we keep seeing these religious liberty cases uh, cropping up. And, you know, in a perfect world, they should all be handled fairly and really in a colorblind uh, and religious blind way in terms of the way that our country operates and believes in religious freedom. So, David, uh, what do you make of these two very prominent cases at the moment? Well, first of all, Martha, let's separate Kim Davis from Cherie Stanley. One works for this, in this case, a public entity, the county, Rowan County. That's right. And Cherie Stanley works for a private employer. If you look at religious accommodation as defined under the EEOC, it says that they, the law requires an employer or covered entity to reasonably accommodate an employee's religious beliefs or practices, unless doing so would cost more than minimal burden. When you look at her case, she knew the requirements of the job. She took the job willingly. A job is not a right. She was accommodated by her supervisor to the extent that it causes basically a problem for others and for many who fly. You look at this, this well-timed case by Council on American Islamic Relations. This is a well-timed case because it deals with the problem of having religious accommodation in flight environments where safety is the key, small crews perform a job as you're flying, you think about how they work up and down the aisles, and if I go on a flight and ask for a drink and she says I can't serve you, someone now has to accommodate me, especially on a small flight, that can cause others to be uh, taken yeah. out of their job or affect my ability to get something. Yeah, I mean, it seems like her accommodation is, is possible. You know, she could take the order, somebody else could drop it off. It doesn't seem like it's that hard to get around this particular accommodation. And by the way, Martha, she can also, like in the Target case, take another job with ExpressJet where she doesn't have to say serve alcohol, for yeah. instance, work in a desk. Agreed. Uh, she might not even want to, you know, be around it. She might be uh, wanting to find something that she won't be exposed to the alcohol and be around it to that extent. Um, when you look at the Kim Davis situation, uh, Marjorie, she works, as David has pointed out, for the government. Uh, and she's now in jail without bail for standing up for what she believes. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting as you look at these cases, I think part of the Express Jet st uh, story, I think there's still some facts missing. And, and it looked like the employer actually did make the accommodation and it was working fine. It was actually with the coworkers where problems arose and then she was given the, the time off. And I think the, the real question to me is also a cultural one. And I think it is a difficult, you know, it's, it's like as an alcoholic, you would not want to take a job as a bartender. So there's certain jobs I think that it's, it's right to say, you know, you don't have to take this job. There's other roles for you. But in some instances, what we have to, we have to look at closely is, again, that sensitivity and where culture yeah. uh, becomes a challenge. So they were talking about her wearing her hijab, her, her headdress. Um, and reading funny writings and things like that. So when it becomes a fear-based thing, that is unfair and that is unfair treatment. And so it will be interesting to see as the details unroll, you know, how yeah. these facts play out, but it, it's important to look at. You know, it's also interesting when you look at left versus right in these issues. Um, you know, everybody sort of is a freedom fighter for their own cause. Um, but when it comes to the right. other side of fighting for things like, right. you know, sanctuary cities uh, where laws have not been upheld, um, you'll hear the other side, David, saying, you know, that that's okay because these people are making a statement that is meaningful to them. It's not okay, Martha. We are a nation of laws. We have a one constitution, and then the states have their individual constitutions. The law must be applied as it exists. That is the way our society will survive. We have a mechanism David, in place. David, many would say that's why Kim Davis should find another job. Clear. Right, and by the way, Kim Davis does have that. Let me, if I can finish, Marjorie. Kim Davis yeah, does have sure. that option. She also doesn't have the right to a job. She chose to be elected to the office. She ran as a Democrat in a Democrat county, so it's not a left or right issue. She has her beliefs, which I support her right to her belief, but she also cannot violate the law as it exists. Right. 
as again, again, whether we like it or not, it's not my constitution, it's not your constitution or anyone's yeah. constitution, it's the United States yeah. Constitution and a system of yeah. laws. You can fight to change the law. Absolutely. Um, if that's what you'd like to do. And, so, and, so, Marjorie, just in terms right. of the sanctuary cities comparison, I mean, are you against mm -hmm. those cities who do not uphold the law? No, because I think that I, I am, because I think it is about protection under the law. So it is not a right or, or left issue. I absolutely agree. It's about religious freedom, religious liberty, and again, protection under the law, which is what the Constitution and our, our legal system grants us. So this is not a political issue. This should be about honoring the laws of the nation. And I think, again, this is what both, in both cases, those, um, those employees are trying to ask for and ask to be upheld. Well, so, they received it, Marjorie, in all <laughs> fairness. There was fair accommodation but her accommodation should not inconvenience other employees, which is a part of, right. if you look at the guidelines around the EEOC, reasonable accommodation. Thanks, you guys. Great to see well, you both. Is, yeah. Got to leave it there. Thanks, <laughs> Marjorie.